Do you notice tightness in the back of your lower leg, also known as your calf muscles? It seems like no matter what you do, how often you stretch, that tightness keeps coming back. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you one simple trick that you can do to say goodbye to tightness for good. But first, this one simple trick relies on the fact of understanding why muscles become tight in the first place. Your muscles get stability either from strength or tightness. Tightness is usually a compensation your body makes when that strength isn't available. Maybe you have some muscle weakness there or you have a muscle imbalance. This explains why constantly doing a common calf stretch just like this one and pulling and trying to stretch that muscle only results in very short term, if any, relief. Your body wants that muscle to be tight because it needs that stability. The one thing I want you to work on, the one switch I want you to make is focus on strengthening the calf muscles instead of just stretching. In order to see how strong your calf muscles are and if you need to work on this, let's test. We have two tests to look at your calf strength. The first one, I like to use a chair or just something you can lightly hold on to, so that way you can get maximum height for this exercise. A very common exercise used to test calf strength is a heel raise, where I'm simply just raising my heels off the ground and then going up onto my toes. If you could find a piece of tape and come near a wall, we're gonna get pretty technical with this. So, I'm going to take a piece of this tape and then go to as high as I can. So I'm gonna reach this height and I'm gonna put the tape about where my head reaches. Very approximate, this does not have to be exact. This way, when I do this test, I'm going to try to reach up to that tape each time because this is not a full calf raise and it's not gonna give you the most accurate strength results. So I'm gonna try to get up as close as I can to that tape each time. When I do that, I'm going to set a timer for 30 seconds. In that 30 seconds, I want you to see how many repetitions you can get. Now your goal for this is to get 38 repetitions. If you cannot get there, that is okay. This is a test for a reason, but this can indicate you need to work on your strength. If you notice cramping in your calves, if you notice just significant fatigue where you're not able to get up to this marker each time, that's your indication to stop the test. And then you will continue to work on this double leg heel raise. Secondly, if you can pass the double leg heel raise, we are not done yet. The next progression is a single leg heel raise. Now this is a more advanced test, so please make sure you can pass the first one before attempting this one. And it's exactly what it says, a single leg heel raise. This one, you're not going to set a timer, you're just going to see how many you can complete to this approximate height before you hit fatigue or before you get to a point where you can't go up to the full height anymore. That's when we will call the test and say that is your number of repetitions. Now here is all of the normative values based on your age group. Now these are average numbers so they're not going to be entirely perfect but you wanna get as close as you can to these numbers. The beauty of these tests is they are also exercises. These are only two movements that can help strengthen the calves. There are of course many others, but I think these are two of the most important to focus on. When you are doing these, you can also supplement them with the stretching. So you can either do the stretching like the typical one I just showed you or some other movements that make you feel good. You can do these movements before you stretch or you can do these movements after you stretch. But adding movement to these stretches is going to help maximize the benefit and really help you regain your mobility. I personally think one of the things that's missing from most fitness programs and one of the best ways to measure progress is by using movement tests just like the ones we used in this video. 
there are so many tests out there to help you measure your strength, measure your balance, measure your stamina, to see how you compare to others in your age group, as well as comparing to yourself to objectively see how much progress you're actually making. That is why movement tests just like this are a big part of the membership Adventures for Life. This is a workout membership that helps you regain strength, balance, stamina, so that way you can get out and enjoy the adventures you want to. If you want to learn more about this membership and become an adventurer for life, go ahead and click the link down below and I'll see you there.